a chilling premise revisited. The legacy of Speak No Evil. The original Danish thriller, Speak No Evil, left audiences deeply unsettled. This 2014 film, directed by Christian Tafdrup, served as a stark exploration of social anxieties and the dark side of human nature. The story, centered around a Danish family vacationing in the Netherlands, unfolded with a creeping sense of dread. Speak No Evil was a slow burn, culminating in a finale that left viewers emotionally drained. Its impact stemmed from its unflinching portrayal of human cruelty and the agonizing choices people face when confronted with evil. The film garnered critical acclaim for its masterful use of tension and its exploration of complex themes. However, its bleakness and ambiguity also proved divisive. Some viewers found the film's unrelenting grimness and open-ended conclusion to be emotionally exhausting. The legacy of Speak No Evil lay in its ability to spark conversation and debate, leaving a lasting impression long after the credits rolled. It stood as a testament to the power of cinema to disturb and provoke. Holiday from Hell A Family's Nightmare Unfolds James Watkins' 2022 remake of Speak No Evil transports the chilling premise to a new setting with a fresh perspective. The film follows an American family, the Longs, who embark on a seemingly idyllic vacation to the Dutch countryside. Patrick, the apprehensive father, reluctantly agrees to the trip, organized by his wife, the more free-spirited Kathy. Their young daughter, Agnes, excited by the prospect of adventure, adds an element of innocence to the family dynamic. The family's idyllic retreat takes a sinister turn when they encounter their hosts, the seemingly hospitable Dutch couple, Bjorn and Karin. As the vacation progresses, a series of increasingly unsettling events begin to chip away at the family's sense of comfort and safety. What begins as a clash of cultures and personalities gradually descends into a terrifying fight for survival. The Longs find themselves trapped in a nightmare, their idyllic vacation transformed into a desperate struggle against a hidden and horrifying truth. The Faces of Fear McAvoy and Davis deliver James McAvoy and Mackenzie Davis deliver powerful performances as Patrick and Kathy Long. McAvoy, known for his versatility, masterfully portrays Patrick's descent from hesitant tourist to terrified captive. He captures the character's growing sense of unease and his desperate attempts to protect his family. Davis, equally compelling, portrays Kathy's initial enthusiasm for the trip which gradually gives way to fear and uncertainty. The chemistry between McAvoy and Davis is palpable, adding a layer of realism to the family dynamic. Their contrasting personalities, Patrick's cautious nature against Kathy's more trusting demeanor, fuel the tension as the situation spirals out of control. Both actors deliver nuanced performances that anchor the film's descent into horror their portrayals of a family grappling with unimaginable terror elevate Speak No Evil beyond a conventional horror film. From unease to entertainment, reimagining the thriller. Watkins' remake retains the core premise of the original film, but shifts the tone and pacing to create a more accessible, albeit still unsettling, viewing experience. While the original Speak No Evil relied heavily on psychological tension and ambiguity, the remake incorporates elements of conventional thriller and black humour. This shift in approach makes the film more palatable for a wider audience while maintaining a sense of dread. 
The remake's decision to incorporate black humour serves to heighten the tension rather than alleviate it. The moments of levity, often arising from the awkward interactions between the two families, create a stark contrast with the growing sense of dread. This juxtaposition keeps the audience on edge, unsure whether to laugh or brace for the next horrifying revelation. The result is a film that is both entertaining and deeply disturbing, a testament to Watkins' skill in balancing different genres. A twisted balancing act. When laughter turns to screams, one of the remake's strengths lies in its ability to seamlessly blend moments of dark comedy with scenes of genuine horror. The film is particularly effective in its use of awkward social interactions to build tension. An early scene involving a misunderstanding over dinner etiquette, initially played for laughs, takes on a sinister undertone as the film progresses. The audience is left questioning whether the Dutch couple's behaviour is simply a cultural quirk or something far more sinister. Another memorable scene involves a game of charades, which quickly devolves into a display of disturbing behaviour by the hosts. The game, meant to be a light-hearted activity, becomes a vehicle for the film's exploration of social anxieties and the unsettling feeling of being out of one's element. These scenes, balancing humour and horror, keep the audience constantly guessing, never quite sure what to expect next. Unveiling the dynamics, clearer motivations, heightened stakes. While the original Speak No Evil thrived on ambiguity, the remake provides more insight into the characters' motivations and the events leading up to the terrifying climax. The film delves deeper into the relationship between the two couples, exploring their past interactions and the events that brought them together for the fateful vacation. By providing more context, the remake adds a layer of complexity to the characters, making their actions both more understandable and more disturbing. The remake also clarifies the motivations of the antagonists, offering a glimpse into the twisted psychology that drives their actions. This deeper exploration of character adds a new dimension to the film's themes of human cruelty and the nature of evil. By providing a more nuanced understanding of the characters and their motivations, the remake transforms the experience from a purely visceral one to a more thought-provoking exploration of the dark side of human nature. Delving into darkness, exploring the depths of human cruelty. Speak. No Evil is not merely a horror film. It's a chilling examination of human cruelty and the choices people make when confronted with evil. The film explores the themes of social pressure, the fear of being impolite, and the lengths to which people will go to avoid confrontation. These themes are particularly relevant in today's society, where social anxieties and the pressure to conform are often amplified. The film also touches upon the concept of necessary evil, raising questions about the responsibility to act when faced with wrongdoing. Patrick's internal struggle, torn between his desire to maintain a semblance of normalcy and the growing realisation of the danger his family faces, forms the emotional core of the film. This internal conflict adds a layer of moral complexity to the narrative, forcing the audience to confront uncomfortable truths about human nature. A satisfying reimagination. Weighing the remake's merits. The 2022 remake of Speak No Evil is a successful reimagining of a deeply unsettling thriller. While it loses some of the original film's ambiguity and slow-burning tension, it compensates with a more accessible approach, incorporating elements of conventional thriller and black humour. The performances of James McAvoy and Mackenzie Davis are captivating, adding emotional depth to the terrifying narrative.